Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to go over creating a league. Leagues are useful if you have many events over a season and you want to show a leaderboard over the whole season. To start off with, from the competitions tab, tap the leagues chip and the green plus button to create a league. We'll give it a name. And now we can choose the scoring type. You can either have a team league where you keep the same teams throughout the whole league or an individual. For this example we'll create an individual league and you can choose individual sum which basically just adds up all of the scores throughout the whole season. So if you're playing stable for it each week this will show the user's total Stableford scores added together or you can create a FedEx points league which works similar to the FedEx points on the PGA Tour where players earn points based on how they place in each event. So we'll create a FedEx points. You can see here that we've got the default FedEx points which are awarded for each event. So, for example, if you come in first, you'll earn 10 points. All of these are editable. And you can even set custom FedEx points for different events in your league. So if you have a major that's worth more points, you can add custom events for that, or custom points for that event. I'll tap Create. And now our league has been created. The first thing that we're going to want to do is add players to our league. So tap the players chip and the plus button, create user. And now that we've added four players, we can tap done. It gives us the option to send those players uh, an invite. And we can see that all four players have been added to our league. If we tap on the leaderboard tab, this is where the season totals will be displayed once we complete events. If we tap on the events tab, this is where you create an event for each date in your league. So we'll create our first event and we'll call it week one. Choose the individual format. We'll play Stableford. Tap create. And you can see that this adds the first event in our league. And create a second one for week two. Let's start the next week. And you can continue setting up all the weeks in your league. For each event, you can tap on it to go into it. We can choose which players are playing in this event. If you have some players that can't make it, you can exclude them. Next thing you'll need to do is go to the leaderboard and create the tournament round or the event round. This is where you choose the course that you'll be playing and the tees the users are playing from. Tap create. The next thing we're going to want to do is to create the tee times. So we'll go to the groups tab, tap the green plus button, select the players. And that's it. We're all set up and ready to go for week one. If you go back to the leaderboard or the league page and to go to the leaderboard, we can see that now we have our overall leaderboard and as well we have the each event leaderboard. Once you're ready to start your 
event, players will be able to tap on it, go to the leaderboard, and tap the green plus or the green play button beside their name to start their scores. This brings them to their scorecard where they can enter their scores. Once they finish entering all of their whole scores, and go back to the league leaderboard, we can see this event has been completed and this user has received 10 points for coming in first. And we can also see that reflected in the overall tournament or overall leaderboard. Also, whenever you add events, there will be a message that shows up in the activity tab and all of the users in the league will get notified that the new event has been created. And that's it. That's the basics for creating a new league.